Welcome back to the Better Than Before podcast. I'm Tony Richards, and game-changing moves for your business or your organization is what we're going to talk about the next couple of minutes. Here's the key question. What is your game-changing move for your organization right now? In other words, what is the one thing that if you did it right now, your business would go to a completely different level? What is the one thing? big thing. I want you to get a piece of paper or get out your smartphone and make a note, whatever you use to keep your thoughts uh, recorded. I want you to write it down because you're going to want to confront that one big thing every single morning when you go into your organization. Here's just some key questions as far as game changers. If there was one thing you could do to improve your business, what would it be and what do you need to do to make it happen? Second thing is, if there was one thing that you could do to improve your personal performance as a leader in that organization, what would it be and how could you make that happen? And number three, what messages are you not listening to or refusing to confront in your business and what will you do to confront them? And we were talking about that movie earlier about the Challenger disaster where the management was just not willing to confront the issues that the engineers were bringing up. And it cost seven people their lives. So you've got to listen to your people and you've got to confront issues in your business that can possibly be the make it or break it point for you. You want to focus on a few things. Notice in my three questions I just asked you, the key two words in those questions were one thing. If there were one thing you could do to improve your business, if there's one thing you could do to improve your personal performance, if there's one thing that you're not confronting in your business, what is it? Focusing on a few things at mastery versus a whole bunch of stuff at mediocrity. Get the complexity out of it. Keep simplifying things in your business. It's really easy. It's really easy to make things complicated. It takes real genius to continue to simplify things and focus. And it's impossible to focus if you've got too many things flying around. Most companies fail because there's too many great opportunities. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to do that. Instead of focusing on the best one, or two opportunities that are right in front of them. You can be good at 20 things, but what are the one or two things you're going to nail every single time? What are the one or two things you're going to be a master in? Ubiquity kills a company, and when a product is relatively scarce, it increases in value. For instance, you probably remember the shoes, and there's still a few around. You see a few people wearing Crocs. You remember those shoes? They had the rubberized uh, shoe with the holes in them or this, that, and the other. They created a fad, not an icon. They got into extensions like we got croc flip-flops and we got croc sandals and we got this and we got that. And they lost focus on their customer base that just wanted the croc shoe. I've had banks tell me before, we want to be more than a bank. Well, how about being just a great bank? That's what your customer wants. If they wanted something else, they'd let you know about it. But just assuming they want more than a bank is probably a mistake. So here's a couple of things to really think about. Make sure that your structure and your strategy are aligned in your business. Structure follows strategy. So depending on what your plan is, for attacking the marketplace, you need to have a structure that's in alignment with that. The right people have to be in place. So it typically goes strategy first, structure second, people third. So you want a strategy for the market, you want a structure to support it, and you want the right people in the right seats doing the right things. And as you continue to grow, you got to keep working on that structure or the plumbing in your business. You got to make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do to support your big plan. And you need to build a dream team. 
You can't build a great company with mediocre people. So you have to continue to build the capacity and the capabilities of your people because you're building capacity and capability for future opportunity. You want to make sure when those opportunities morph or get larger that you have the people that can match. Uh, they've got the capacity to respond to that opportunity. So that usually requires you to be a better coach, a better leader, a better manager, or a better mentor. And there are different skill sets for each one of those four categories. You have skill sets in leadership that need to be used. You have skill sets in management that need to be used. You have skill sets in coaching that need to be used. And you have skill sets in mentorship that need to be used. That's not my topic today, and maybe we'll get into that sometime, but you are the focus of making sure that the organization has the capabilities it needs to get to the opportunities that you've identified. And you, quite frankly, need to work yourself out of your position. So you need to learn how to delegate, how to coach, how to mentor, how to lead, how to manage. So you're always looking for somebody to replace you in some of the things that you do while you retain the critical things that only you can do. And I have a saying that I use with people all the time. You can't go up if you're not willing to give up. In other words, if you don't throw off some stuff, you know, if you were in a hot air balloon and you had too many things in your basket, you wouldn't be able to get the balloon off the ground. You'd have to throw some things over. And so that's that analogy illustrates what I'm talking about. You need to empty your basket of some things that you've been handling that you don't need to handle anymore. So you need to give that to competent people who can handle it so your balloon will get off the ground. You can rise up to another level and also ascend to better opportunities. You know, you, you make the organization not really need you. And uh, you can deceive yourself into thinking, well, the organization needs me. Well, it may need you now, but it needs to grow to a point it doesn't need you. You need to create a new need right? You need to be growing and developing and creating a new need that the organization has for you. And then finally, I would say, as far as organizational excellence, you need to create a wow customer experience. Make your product or service so wow worthy or so valuable that when they use it, they are so blown away by how great it is and awesome results that it produces. They tell everybody how good it is. They say, hey, have you ever worked with Tony Richards as an executive coach? Man, he did wonders for me and you need to work with him. Now, on the other hand, if they use your product or service and they're disappointed or it doesn't uh, quite give them the benefit that they thought they were getting, they may tell millions of people in just a few seconds. You ever notice how on social media these days, every time somebody has a bad experience at a business or an organization, the first thing they do is just blow the horn on social media. That could be going out to millions of people. If you service them in a great way or in a good way, they might tell 10 or 20 people. But when you mess up, and your structure and people do not deliver the result they were expecting, they could tell millions about your screw-up and about how it was, their product or service was mediocre to not good at all. So you got to watch out for that, too. Well, that's our show today. I'm your host, Tony Richards, reminding you that until I talk to you next week, everything gets better when you get better. Thank you for listening to Better Than Before with Tony Richards, a business leader's podcast powered by Clear Vision Development Group. For more resources from Tony, visit clearvisiondevelopment.com. Join us next time for another episode of Better Than Before with Tony Richards.